Good morning students. Today I am going to teach you liquid lasers which is the third type of laser. Okay. The most commonly used liquid laser is dye laser. Okay. So it is otherwise called as wide band amplifier. The reason is the, the wavelength here is very broad. Okay. The wavelength we, uh, used in this uh, laser is very large. So that's why it is called as wide band amplifier and some of the examples of dye laser is rhodamine 60 dye and uh, comarin dye. Okay. Now let's see the construction of it. So the construction of the laser it is having a, a dye as an active medium. So the dye is placed in between the two mirrors. Okay. So, so the reflection coefficient of these mirrors is 100%. That means everything will be reflected back. Okay. So the, so the actual element is placed in between the reflecting mirrors. And now uh, we use a liquid jet. In order to move the uh, dye, okay. So in order to have a dye stream, a movement in the dye, we use a liquid jet, okay. So the direction will be perpendicular to the laser pumping, okay. The uh, initial pumping source, it will be perpendicular to the dye stream, okay. And the direction will be laminar, okay. So let's draw the diagram. So here, as I said, we have two... Uh, uh, reflecting mirrors okay and the the the, the dye will be flowing by using the liquid jet all right and now as i already said the laser pumping the pumping source should be given perpendicular to this laser uh, sorry perpendicular to this dye stream okay so this assume this is the pumping source and that will be given in the perpendicular direction so here we will be having a, co a collecting device which is called as the breaster angle window Okay, so once the pumping source is uh, pumping source reaches the dye, what will happen? The uh, the 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 component or the atoms in the dye will be excited. Okay, so uh, it will be excited and it will be reflected by using these two mirrors. So finally, what will happen? The laser light will be emitted from this mirror. Okay, so one more thing we have to notice, the pumping source will have a particular wavelength, but the, the laser that is coming out of this uh, mirror will be having the wavelength uh, which will be very high when compared to the pumping source. Okay, so in order to compress or in order to select a particular wavelength, what we will do is we will use a grating so element okay it is otherwise called this tuning element so the reason for this word is we are going to tune or select particular wavelength okay we have a broad wavelength here but we are going to select particular wavelength or based upon our application Okay, so this is a tuning element. Uh, it, uh, it can be, it, 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 this tuning element may be a prism. Okay, so the, the, the radiation that is coming out of this tuning element will be uh, having a particular frequency. Okay, so this is the laser radiation. So it, this is the laser output. Okay, now let's see the working of this, how it is working. See here, uh, similar to the previous, here also we will draw the energy diagram, but the dye contains, the, the density of the atoms in the dye will be very, very high. So because of that, we have large number of uh, uh, energy levels. Okay, so we are going to group the energy levels like this. Let, let's draw the diagram first. So... Okay, so this is a set of uh, energy levels. We will call this as singlet state S0. 
okay so this is the set of energy level lower energy level and again i will name the the lowest energy level as 1 and the top energy level among this singlet is not will be 2 okay similarly let's draw another set okay so this set will be named as singlet state yes one okay and here also the lowest energy uh, can be named as three energy level three and the highest will be named as energy level one okay so the atoms in the dye material will be initially in the singlet state is not okay so assume at once we give the pumping source okay of a, a smaller wavelength what will happen the elements the atoms in the ground state will be excited to the next uh, upper state which is four of the singlet state s1 okay so what will happen uh, once it reaches the energy level 4 because of some thermal vibrations and all it will be emitting uh, uh, it will coming it will be coming back to energy level 3 but it is a uh, radiation less decay which will it won't uh, emit any radiation at this moment okay so after some time after gaining enough number of electrons what will happen again it will try to come back to the energy levels of the singlet state is not any of the energy levels of the singlet state is not so at this moment some laser light radiation will be emitted so this is the concept of the liquid laser okay now the advantages of liquid laser is the density of the as I already said the density of the dye is uh, very high okay so the number of atoms will be very high so because of that the population inversion can be achieved very easily and since it is a lace uh, dye okay so no cooling is required. Okay, so this is another one advantage of it and here uh, one more thing is the homogeneity of the, uh, the laser waves will be maintained till the end. Okay, and finally the active medium is very easy to prepare. Okay, unlike gas or uh, any solid materials, uh, it, 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 the dye, is, dye can be easily prepared. Okay, thank you students.